Hey guys, it's Kara. I have some really exciting news. I am going to be selling period attire pads. Um, it's been a while since Tara's been selling, and I've been fumbling through different types of patterns trying to find one that I like to put my, my branding on, I guess. And I kept coming up with patterns, actually, that were so similar to hers because her pads are my very favorite of any brand that I've tried. So I got in contact with her. Um, we've been pretty good friends since, since actually I started my YouTube channel because we were talking back and forth about how I should actually start my channel, and then I did, and now I'm here, and everything. So I contacted her and asked her if I could buy her patterns from her, all the different sizes and the wide style and the budget patterns and all of that, and the rights to sell them myself. So she said yes, and we worked it out, and I got the patterns in the mail a couple days ago. I started working on them. I have a few that are not quite up to quality. I'm going to give them to a friend to try out, um, just to try out cloth. And then I have a bunch that are ready to go up in my shop, so I'll probably have them up pretty soon in the next couple days, maybe next week. We'll see. Uh, but I actually do not have any Zorb. Um, so I'm waiting for that to come in the mail, and I'm sticking to as close as I can um, exactly what she used to do with her pads. So I'll show you some that I have done. This is actually the second one that I ever did, I think. Um, I stuck with the really close to the edge top stitching. Um, I added ribbons to show the absorbency. I'll show you on a dark colored one here. So I've only done liners so far since I don't have any Zorb, so they all have white ribbons. And so I have a few different sizes. I have three of the six inch really small liner. There's this pattern. This one actually doesn't have a ribbon on it, so I don't know if I will sell it. I haven't decided yet. I might do a giveaway. Let me know what you guys think. There's this one. I just made this one earlier. That one does have a ribbon. Oops, I'm on that side. Um, they're all backed in micro fleece, just like she used to do, and they're topped in cotton, and um, these are all new materials, so there's no upcycling, none of that, um, but I am going to keep the pads that I used to make with all the upcycled materials, and so um, they'll stay at the super cheap price that they are. These will be a little bit more expensive because I'm going to be having to buy materials regularly at um, full price. There's that one. This one is the 7 inch. Just the regular pattern. This is the 8 inch. That's one that I just showed you. And this is the 7 inch wide style. So I'll snap up that one next to the 7 inch of the narrow style. You can see the difference there. Mash them up. See? So those are those. I'll show you the ones that I finished that I didn't quite like the way they ended up. This one's just a little kind of wonky. Actually, this one's the second one that I ever made. Um, it just kind of stretches funny. I must have cut the fabric not exactly straight. I do like that print, though. That's really pretty. I'll do some more in that one. And there's this one. This one just has a weird corner up here and the back stitch kind of messed up. But other than that, it's nice. And then this is my first attempt with her thong patterns. Um, it's just all flannel. It's top flannel, backed in flannel, and there's a flannel core. There's a flannel core in all of these. And then, guess what's back in season? Witch pads! I am so excited to make these. Um, it's kind of hard to see because it's a little bit dark in here, and it's kind of a dark color, but it's candy corn, if you can tell. You can see the witch's hat. Um, she's got her hands, and her dress, and her feet. <laughs> this will be up in my shop pretty soon, too. I'm getting ready for Halloween. I'll show you how this one snaps up. I have a couple of her witch pads. Well, actually, I have one and my sister has one, but we have the 9-inch ones. So they look a little bit different than this. Um, of course, they're longer, but the shape is a little bit different, too. So we'll just have to see. Um, that's all I have to show you. I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be selling these. And check out my Etsy shop. I'll put the link down below. That's it.